In this video, I'll show you how to create a stem and leaf plot. A fast and easy way to get an idea of distribution of a new set of data is to make a stem and leaf plot. What we have to do is make a stem and leaf plot for 30 students whose grades are shown here. And this video is a continuation of another video that I did where we created a frequency distribution plot from this data. If you quickly analyze this data, you'll notice that their grades range from 50 to 90. And in fact, the lowest grade is right here, and the highest grade is right here. In this class of 30, we have grades that are in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. So for the stem portion of our plot, we'll write down the first digit of each of those numbers. So we'll have 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Once we've created our stem, we can now analyze all the numbers that are in the 50s and write the rest of the number in the leaves column. For instance, we have a grade that is 58.4, we'll write down 8.4. And this happens to be the only grade in the 50s. Let's move on to the 60s. We have a grade that is 62, so I'll write down 2.0. And each time a grade is written, it's nice to scratch it off from the list, that way you don't get confused. We also have 69.8, so I'll write down 9.8. And notice that they're not in order. We sometimes go on to arrange the leaves in numerical order, but that's not always necessary. It really depends on what your teacher is looking for. 69.6 will be written as 9.6. And if you do the rest correctly, you should end up with the following. Next, we'll analyze the numbers that are in the 70s. We have 76.3, so I'll write down 6.3. 77.4. And if you do the rest correctly, you should end up with the following. Once you're finished with the 70s, we'll move on to the 80s. I have a number right here, 85, 82.3, 6.4, which represents this number, 4.4. And if you do it correctly, you should end up with this. Now lastly, we will analyze the numbers that are in the 90s range. We have 94.6, 4.6, 1.3 for this number, 0 0.6 for this number, and lastly, the highest grade in the books, 7.2. To see the shape of the distribution, all you have to do is simply turn the page on its side. That will give you an idea on where the grades are most distributed. Also note that the stem and leaf plot preserves the original data, and this is why a stem and leaf plot has its advantages. We can analyze a stem and leaf plot and still have the raw data to create other types of charts, such as a frequency histogram. Whereas if we had a frequency histogram, for instance, you cannot reverse the process and get the original data. So there you have it. That is how to create a stem and leaf plot.